Hello and welcome to Duolingo Study With Me Spanish. Today we're on Section 3 Travel at Unit 11 and we're going to share our travel experiences and tell stories. ¿Qué comidas probaste? So, what Duolingo is recommending is this word, probaste. And it's actually in the past and it's from the tu conjugation, which is the you conjugation. But what does it mean? Well, probaste is from the verb probar, which means to try. And because it's in the past tense, tu which is you, it's you tried. You'll notice that a lot of the AR verbs in the past tense, and this is perfect tense, perfect past, will end in aste. Um, so hablaste is you spoke, probaste is you tried. And because it's a question, it's going to be have you tried? So these first two words, que comidas, que we know is what, and comidas is foods. So, que comidas, what foods have you tried? So, here this is saying what foods did you try? So, what foods have you tried? What foods did you try? Yo hablé mucho en español. So, here's the past again. Yo hablé mucho en español. So, this is actually in the past, but it's the first person perfect. And how I can tell is this is from the verb hablar, which is to speak, and it's got the E with an accent, so you've got uh, emphasis on that. Hablé. So it's I speak mucho, which is a lot, in español. So I spoke a lot in Spanish. That's what this means. Yo hablé con mis amigos mexicanos. Here we go again. Yo hablé con mis amigos mexicanos. So I spoke with my Mexican friends. Yo hablé con mis amigos mexicanos. ¿Cuándo viajaste a México? Cuando viajaste a México. Again, we have that aste. This time we have viajaste. What does that mean? Well, it comes from the infinitive viajar, which is to travel. So, cuando is when, and viajaste is the perfect past of the you, the to conjugation. So, when did you travel? And then a México is to Mexico. This person is asking someone else a question. So that's why they've used the aste, because you're asking about someone else. It's not, they're not talking about themselves. There we go. Tú les hablaste en francés. Tú les hablaste en francés. So this is uh, the word that I was saying at the start. Hablaste. Hablaste is similar to probaste. They both end with the aste, which is the perfect past two conjugation of AR verbs. Aste. Hablaste. So, tú is you, les is referring to them, and hablaste is you spoke in French. So, did you speak in French to them? There we go. ¿Por qué no hablaste conmigo antes de viajar a Rio? Mi padre vive allá. Okay, so let's break this down. So, you'll notice that the first part of this is a question, and it ends here, and the second part is a statement. So, let's focus on the question. It starts with por qué, so that's why. Porque with a gap is why. And it says, no hablaste. So, hablaste is you spoke or you speak in the past. And it's perfect tense. Why didn't you speak? Conmigo, which is with me. Conmigo is with me. Contigo is with you. So, she's saying here, uh, why didn't you speak with me? Antes, which is before, de viajar a Rio. So, before I travelled to uh, to Rio, which uh, in Spanish is river, but I think this is a place. So, why didn't you speak to me before I, I travelled to Rio? And then, and then the statement here is, Mi padre vive allá, which is similar to allí. So, uh, allá is there, vive is the third person version of, uh, in the first person it would be vivo. I live. In third person, it becomes Bibi. So, my father lives there. So, why didn't you speak to me before I travelled to uh, Rio? Uh, my father lives there. So, this person's going to respond. They can say, en serio, so like seriously, voy a volver pronto. I'm going to return soon. Me das, so can you give me su, which is his, and then telefono, which is his telephone. So, I think this is the right answer. Um, the, the top one's talking about um, cleaning the kitchen and the bathroom. 
So seriously, I'm going to go back soon. I'm going to return soon. Uh, can you give me his telephone number? Este plato lo probé en Francia. Okay, so again, these all seem to be AR verbs. I think that's the way it wants to teach us. So um, this, again, ends with E, with the emphasis on. So what that means is it's in first person, perfect, past. So este plato, uh, this first bit, este plato, and remember, este ends with an E because what we're talking about is masculine. This dish or this plate, lo probé, which is I tried, and then lo is the it bit, I tried it en Francia, which is uh, in France. So, this dish, I tried it in France. There we go. Yo probé los frijoles mexicanos. Yo probé los frijoles mexicanos. So, I tried the Mexican beans. And we're using los here because what we're talking about is plural and it's masculine. Otherwise, it would be las if it was feminine. Probé, remember, it's an AR verb from probar, similar to how we had probaste, which is the U version of the past. Probé, with the accent, is the I version, I tried. So probaste is you tried. Yo probé is I tried. En India probé el té de mantequilla. Okay, so in India, I tried el té de mantequilla. It's, I think it's butter, but... Mantequilla. T. Right, okay. So here what they're saying is, uh, in India, I tried the butter tea. And this person's going to reply, en serio? Like, seriously? Probaste eso? You tried that? Como es? How is it? So that this is the answer here. The the other qu the other answer down here is actually saying, tu quieres comprar una bicicleta? Which is, do you want to buy a bicycle? So that doesn't make sense. So it's definitely number one. Viajé el sábado pasado. So again, we're ending with a, a word ending with the E with the accent. Viajé. Viajé el sábado pasado. Viajé el sábado pasado. So let's break it down. This first one is from the verb viajar. So listen to that again. Viajé el sábado pasado. This is the first person perfect past of viajar, to travel. So I travelled. El sábado, which is the Saturday, and then pasado is like uh, last Saturday. So I travelled last Saturday. Viajaste a Francia el verano pasado. No, tú, and then it's blank, los guasons. So what does this mean? Well, these are all AR verbs. And because the way that you conjugate AR verbs are similar, I know that aste is the two perfect past of viajar, to travel. So this is, you travelled a Francia, to France, el ber verano, which is the summer, pasado, last. So you travelled to France last summer, and then they're asking a question, no? Tu something uh, los croissants, and I think that is going to be... Probaste. Because it's a question, tu probaste, did you try uh, the, the croissants? ¿A dónde viajaste el mes pasado? Let's listen to that again. ¿A dónde viajaste el mes pasado? Okay. ¿A dónde? ¿A dónde, ¿A dónde viajaste el mes pasado? El mes pasado. So, ¿a dónde is where? And sometimes you you find uh, ¿a dónde? and just ¿dónde? But if you're asking somebody, uh, you know, where they went or something, you, you should use ¿a dónde? So, ¿where viajaste? Did you travel? El mes pasado, last month. So, where did you travel last month? De verdad, viajaste a Madrid? So, uh, it's saying here, I think it's saying, uh, did you really travel to Madrid? Uh, I also traveled to Spain, el something pasado. It's going to be año here because, uh, basically, <laughs> año is the only kind of time reference in here. You know, if there was semana, or día, you can use any of them, but año is the correct one here. Nunca viajé a Madrid, pero quiero ir este año. Okay. Nunca viajé a Madrid, pero quiero ir este año. So, nunca is never. Viaje is traveled. And it's the perfect past of the I conjugation. So, I've never traveled a Madrid, to Madrid. Pero, which is but, but 
quiero, I want, ir, to go, este año. And why have we used este? Because año is a masculine um, word in Spanish. Uh, if it was, uh, for example, um, semana, la semana, that's feminine, so we'd have to use esta. But because it's masculine, we say este. So this person's going to reply, and it's going to be the second one. En serio, which is seriously, no viajaste, you've not travelled there uh, last year. So you didn't travel last year. El mes pasado hablé con un actor, uh, something en Londres. So Miss. last month, el mes pasado, whenever you add uh, pasado or pasada after a time frame, like month, year, day, week, um, it means last, last month, last day, last uh, year, last week. Hablé is the first person present past of the, the verb hablar, to speak. So it's I spoke with an actor. So last month I spoke with an actor, something in London. So it's going to be uh, something describing the actor. Um, it's not going to be comfortable. It's not going to be cloud. It's not going to be safe or, or uh, secure. It's going to be famous. Famoso. Last month I spoke with a famous actor in London. There we go. So, did you speak with them last week? So, we've got to make this now. So, we need to find you speak, which is... Hablaste. Hablaste. That's the perfect uh, form. Perfect past form of you speak. You spoke. Hablaste. With them. Con. Con. Ellos. ellos. With them. And then we need last week. And we need to put the article for whatever we're describing, which is going to be la. La. Because week is a feminine word and it's semana. Semana. That's it. And then pasada, ending with an A, because again, semana is pasada. feminine. Pasada. Hablaste con ellos la semana pasada. Did you speak with them last week? Uh, okay, here's another one. I spoke. So we need I spoke, perfect past uh, in the first person. Hablé. Hablé. A lot, which is mucho, and in Spanish. En, en español. español. There we go. So there we go. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to part me. Keep on learning and I will see you on the next video.